This AI tool just destroyed anything unlovable. It is called Viewer AI and it claims to build beautiful full stack apps with that simple text prompts, which would make using anything a complete waste of time if you can build the same or even better apps by typing simple prompts in a beginner friendly interface. So as someone that spends hours every day building full AI systems using these tools and has made multiple videos showing you how to do the exact same, I'm going to put Viewer AI to the test by trying to build a digital classroom app, just like School, which is an app that I and 170,000 people use, to which we pay $100 per month to set up our communities. And if it actually can, I will have to seriously consider switching my building over to Uwer AI. But before that, let's build the app. Now, the first thing you have to do is to go over to uwer.com, which I will leave a link for in the description below, so you can immediately go sign up to it and follow along with this video, and then you will be brought over in this interface over here, where you are able to see a batch of projects that the Uwer community has made, and you can also filter through them from over here. You can choose to see only AI apps, maybe different games that the community made, productivity tools, which you can also go and use and increase your own productivity and a bunch of other amazing projects which if I'm gonna be honest they deserve a separate video for themselves because in this video what we're trying to do is to create a brand new app from scratch so how we're gonna be able to do that is we need to come over here and click on the create button which is going to open up the viewer prompt box and as you probably thought what we need to do is explain to you where exactly what app we want to build so for our app I will come over here and type I want to build a digital classroom app for tutors coaches to create courses upload lessons it can either be text video links files etc etc and they should also be able to add quizzes and track student progress tutors should be able to sign up create courses with multiple lessons and advise students via email or via a separate code that they might give to the student then students should have their own dashboard showing enrolled courses lesson completion status and quiz scores quizzes should be auto scored and progress should update accordingly now the tutors do need a dashboard to see the students progress their quiz results the last activity etc etc so I specifically tell you where to include a database structure for users, tutors, and students, courses, lessons, quizzes, and a bunch of other things. And then I also tell it it can generate an optional AI feature that basically suggests quiz lessons based on the lesson content in order for it to help generate a very nice course outline. And then I simply tell it create a clean UI with pages for tutor dashboard, course creation, lesson viewer, quiz page, and a bunch of other things. Now, if you want to copy exactly this prompt, I will leave a link for it in the description below so you can immediately access it and copy paste it over to Uwer. And then what I'm going to do, guys, is I will also say, make the UI look like this. And what I'm going to do, I will go over to Google and search for nice looking UI, simply find one that I like. Let's say I really like this one, for example. And then I will simply come over here, I will download it, and then I will come back over in my Uwer interface Click on the attach file button and then I will simply upload it over here. So Uwer also has access to a design that I personally like, which indeed makes it way more likely to give us a good end result. Now, as you can see over here, you can also choose the model that Uwer is going to use to build the app. And as you can see, it has already pre-selected Cloud 4.5 Sonnet since it is the best coding model out there, at least at the time of this recording. But if you want to use a different model, for example, you want to use GPT-5 Codex, you can simply come and select from over here. As you can see, Uwer gives you this option and specifically only gives you access to the best coding models so you don't make a wrong choice. Now for this example, I will select Cloud 4.5 Sonnet and then it's time I show you Uwer's most powerful feature which is over here and is the MCP tools. Because if I come over here and click on the plus icon, you can see that Uwer gives us access to all of these tools that you see over here guys. Which means Uwer can by itself go and access all of these tools and use them whenever we want and we don't manually have to go set up these tools and then try to connect them in the interface that we build with Uwer. Uwer simply does all this work for us and as you can see they give us access to a batch of tools, they give us access to Google Maps, they also give us access to Superbase so we can have an actual legit backend database, they also have an image generator which we can embed inside our app, they also have their own backend as you can see over here which is basically an alternative to Superbase which is what I will actually choose 
to use in this app and how you can add in an mcp tool because as you can see i already have some mcp tools over here but how you can add them is by simply coming over here clicking on the plus icon and then over here you see instructions of how you can add it now since this is your own tool it automatically added for us we don't need to set anything up but if we were to use figma for example so if i delete it from here and i want to use figma i will simply come over here click on the plus icon and then I would have to add in my personal Figma token, which you are gives you exact precise instructions of exactly how you can do it. But since we don't really need Figma for this example, I will choose to not use this one. So after you're done adding in all the MCP tools that you want to add, all you have to do is to simply come over here and close off this interface and then simply come over here and click on generate. And now is the fun part because all you have to do is to simply sit back in your chair and wait till you were is done building your app for you. And I think you guys can see how powerful your is simply because they have access to mcp tools which is something that no other ai app builder has at least of my knowledge at the time of this recording and since i do tend to want to use many mcp tools a lot of times i personally choose to use your simply because me having to manually go and connect all these tools with a platform like any 10 for example which sure you can do it but it's going to take you a lot of time while with your you basically can do it in like 10 seconds or so. That's why every time I build an app that requires an MCP tool that Uwer has access to, I immediately go and use Uwer for that and I don't even bother going and using anything unlovable. But now as you can see, Uwer is building our app using the Cloud 4.5 model. So all we have to do is to simply wait till it is done. And as you can see right now, Uwer is simply asking us whether it wants us to enable the backend. So I'll simply come over here and say, sure, go and enable it. And I'll simply click on enter. And now the full app building process is going to start and boom guys your ai just finished building the app and as you can see this is the front end interface and i do guys admit it does look very good that's because we did in fact give it a visual example of exactly how we want the app to look like and as you can see over here we are in the student dashboard right now and we have our enrolled courses our completion rate and our quiz average and if we want we can come over here click on enroll now and then we simply need to input the invite code our tutor sent us in order for us to enroll in his course now let's say we don't want to be a student we want to be the professor how we're going to be able to do that is by coming over here and clicking on the logout section which should bring us on in this interface but as you can see we do have a problem right now because it just brings us back to the student dashboard. That is totally normal and should be expected when you're building very complex apps. You will definitely have some bugs in the code and all you have to do is to simply come over here, explain the bug to you and it's going to go and fix it for you. So for this example, I will come over here and say, hey, I cannot log out of my student account and select that I want to be a teacher. Why is that? Make sure you go and fix that error. And then I will simply come over here and I'll click on enter. And now Uwer is going to go and it's going to make this change for us. And the best part is that Uwer AI recently launched their own mobile app as well, which allows you to vibe code very complex apps like this simply by using your phone. And all you have to do to use it is to simply go over to your Play Store or to your iOS Store and search for Uwer and the app is going to come up. Then simply download it completely for free, log in with your account, and then you will see an interface like this where you will be able to either type or speak and explain exactly what you want your app to look like in our example you would type a similar prompt to the one that we used in this video and then you would simply click on enter and all you have to do is to wait while the viewer is building your app for you while you could be on the coffee shop you could be in a train you could be whatever you want to be and you can have access to the powerful viewer from simply using your phone so underneath this video i will also leave a link for your app for android and for ios so make sure you select the operating system that you are using and you also go and download their mobile app. But now if we go back to the app that we are building in our desktop and boom, as you can see, you are went over and made that change for us. And now we can actually come back here and select whether we want to be a tutor or whether we want to be a student. Let's say for this example, we want to be a tutor. I will simply come back here and click on I am a tutor. So now we are logged in with our tutor account. And you can see that we have a completely brand new option over here, which is to create our first course. So how we are able to do that is by coming over here and clicking on create our first course. Then we simply need to come over here and give it a title. Let's say we are creating an anything course, for example. And then for the description, I will say anything course 
course, learn and attend fast. And I'll come over here, click on create course. And boom, as you can see, our course was successfully created. And it also gives us this invite code, which if we come over here and we copy right now and we give it to somebody that has a student account, then they can come and join our course over here. And we can also come over here and if we want, we can also view our course, which right now has nothing inside it basically. And we don't really have an option to add things inside our course, which is another thing that we need to create. So to do that, I'll simply come over here and I will say, I want to be able to input videos, images, and overall things inside my course. So make sure you create an interface where I can do that and you go and store it in an actual backend database. So now I'll simply come over here and click on enter and our viewer is going to go and make this change for us. And guys, having a brief back and forth with viewer or with any AI app builder that you're using is totally normal and should be expected. It cannot one shot everything. Of course, you will have to go in and tweak some things in order for you to be able to make your app exactly as you want. And boom, your AI just finished making the changes. So now, as you can see, we have this brand new option over here, which is called edit lessons which if i come over here and click on it you are able to see that i don't have any lessons yet so if i come over here and add a lesson i can give it a title let's say anything basics for example then the lesson order this is going to be the first one then we can give some text context so let me come over here and say anything basics for beginners and then over here as you can see we can give a url to our video so it can be displayed inside our app and if we want we can also upload a video file inside this app so then it will be stored in the backend database that we have in your ai and it's going to be displayed from there so if i actually click on this and actually select to upload a random video of mine as you can see it is uploading right now and it was uploaded successfully so now we have it over here so now if i come over here and click on create lesson we can see that the lesson was successfully created and now if i actually come over here and i click on top of this lesson we can actually see a video preview that includes the video that i have uploaded over and if i actually click on play i build this fully automated ai legal assistant app that you can see that it's actually plays so then people can go watch the videos that you have uploaded which is exactly what we wanted and it's honestly super impressive because we just managed to build that with a few simple prompts while other similar platforms like the one that i'm currently using which is cool have multi-million dollars in funding and have hundreds of developers working 24 7 to build features like this while we managed to build very similar features with just a few simple prompts which is honestly super impressive and now that i have already showed you the front end interface for app i also want to show you how the back end also works because if we come over here to the top and we click on our database over here we can see that basically everything that we do in our app gets stored over here because we can see the course that we just created we can also see the enrollments if we have any people's progress with the lessons over here we can also see all the files that we have uploaded specifically our youtube link url over here and also the file that we manually uploaded over to you and a bunch of other things that we have added in our app which along with all the users that have registered for it over here in the user section which means that this is not just a nice looking front end interface this is a full stack app with an actual functioning backend which if we didn't use an app like you or ai it would be a very hard thing to build and now we can obviously come over here and improve the app even further let's say for example we want to turn this into some sort of a community app and we want to be able to make text posts over here which all of our students are going to be able to see all we would have to do is to simply come over here and describe what we want so i could say something like hey i want to create a text post section where the tutor can create different text posts and the students will be able to see them like them and comment underneath them exactly as school has right now so if i come over here and I click on enter then you were ai is going to go and it's going to create this new text post section for us and boom guys you were ai just finished making all the changes and as you can see we have a brand new option over here which is this purple button which if we actually click we can see that we can share an announcement with our students so let's say for example the brand new module of the anything course was released i can come over here and say the brand new module of the anything course was released and then i can simply come over here click on post and now this post is going to be visible to all of our students where they will be able to come over here and like it if they actually do like it and then 
they will also be able to convert here and write a comment about it. Maybe they want to say, great, amazing work. And then they could convert here and post it. And then this comment would be visible for all the other members of the course. And I think you can see how we basically managed to build all the functions that school has, which again is a multi-million dollar company. And we just managed to build almost all of its functions with just a few simple prompts. So if you want to be able to build similar complex apps with just a few simple prompts, make sure you actually go and check out your AI. I will leave a link for them in the description below and also youtube thinks you're going to enjoy this video in which i used your ai again but this time to build a community accountability app so make sure you go and watch that next and i will see you over there